that was Victoria Peak. Isn't it beautiful? Whenever I go back to Hong Kong, I would go up there at least once to check out the view of Hong Kong Island from above. Oh, the night feel, it's amazing. Wow! Well, it's called Victoria Peak for now. That might change in the future. Why? Most recently, a pro-Beijing lawmaker suggested that all the names bearing colonial references should be renamed to honor historical and present-day Chinese figures. Historical meaning from 1949, CCP related. They are trying to teach the next generation of Hong Kongers that Hong Kong was never a British colony to begin with, but an occupied territory. So Victoria Peak might be renamed as Xi Jinping Peak. You gotta be shitting me. Actually, they should rename it as Winnie the Pooh Peak. People will love that. Prince Edward Station, it might be renamed as maybe Prince Jackie Chan or Jackie Chen. <laughs> Causeway Bay, they might rename it as the People's Bay. Oh, Victoria Park is in Causeway Bay. There's also a um, statue of Queen Victoria. Well, they might remove the statue and replace it with Mao Zedong and rename it as Mao Zedong's Park. Hmm. Queen Elizabeth's Hospital might be renamed as Mao Anying Hospital. Mao Anying was Mao Zedong's oldest son who was killed uh, in the Korean War. Yeah, Mao Anying Hospital or Mao Anying Memorial Hospital. Well, all of this has yet to happen, but since they're already talking about it, it might happen soon. Maybe before next year's is Hanover anniversary, July 1st, 2023. Hong Kong has changed a lot ever since the national security law came into effect in 2020. I mean, the Hong Kong police, they don't even say yes sir, yes madam anymore. They are already doing the goose steps instead of the British foot drills. The Chinese regime is really trying hard to get rid of any British colonial references in Hong Kong. Maybe pretty soon uh, they will not allow Hong Kongers to have English names. English and Cantonese are still the official languages in Hong Kong. Maybe soon uh, they will get rid of English as an official language in Hong Kong. Perhaps Cantonese too. Well. Of course, I really hope none of this will happen in the future, but with uh, the Chinese regime uh, really cracking down on anything that is a threat to them, I wouldn't be surprised. May God bring down CCP. And lastly, I would like to remind all of you, Hong Kong is not safe. The national security law doesn't just apply to Hong Kongers but everybody globally. Therefore, if you have said anything that is against CCP, even if you are not in Hong Kong, you have violated a national security law. So if you go to Hong Kong, there's a chance that you might be arrested. Hong Kongers are living in fear and they are trying to find ways to leave Hong Kong with no intentions on going back. Please do not go to Hong Kong. It is not safe. Thanks for watching. Don't just so tight.